Hello everyone, thank you for having us. We're The W Project and we celebrate female talent from our creative community. Today we're going to tell you a bit about our story and how we got started. So Maya kind of introduced us already, but um, I'm Teo, um, I'm a graphic designer by day and I am a partner at a design studio called No Days Off and uh, we work on all manner of things from branding to logos and self-initiated uh, print projects like this. And most recently, uh, graphics for Pick Me Up, um, contemporary art fair uh, at Somerset House, which many of you probably went to. And um, I met Lauren through um, her business partner at Work It. Yes, I co-founded Work It, um, which I produce on a monthly basis, as well as lots of other events and creative projects for brands such as Umbro, Boiler Room, Reebok, and this one here, which was for Dickies. Um, which brought together female talent from my network. This was prior to the W Project, and Teo approached me in late 2010 and told me about International Women's Day. It was the 100th anniversary, something that I'd actually never heard of, so I was interested to know more about it. I'd never heard about it either. Um, my sister had been living in China and Russia, um, where they celebrate it, and um, basically people give gifts and greeting cards and um, these are two uh, vintage greeting cards um, from the Soviet Union and uh, they're pretty cool we've got like a group of international women being celebrated <laughs> there and um, also this amazing card which shows the first cosmonaut um, female cosmonaut uh, women into space and, and also this amazing eight for March 8 which is um, when International Women's Day is celebrated in 80 countries around the world. And we just thought, well, why aren't we doing anything? And um, so we did. Yeah, we were a bit uninspired by the current role models in mainstream media. And it didn't really relate to us or our reality. So we decided to put together a group show, which was entitled Blessed Are the Art Makers, which brought together all the people that influence us and people we admire from our community. And uh, we decided to do a group show. It felt like the best way to kind of bring together all the different disciplines um, that we had in mind for the show. And this slide shows our first, our launch exhibition. And we had 35 artists, which was um, pretty incredible for us because we'd never done anything like it before. Um, and it could have gone terribly wrong, but actually it went quite well. And uh, we've got a mixture of artists. So we've got Tara Darbury, uh, photographer, and we've got a graphic designer called Jasmine Raslahan, um, with the rather rude uh, football shirt up there. And also uh, Jiggery Pokery did the um, fantastic um, sculpture in the corner, which you could put your head in, and it had a kaleidoscopic uh, kind of twisting mechanism inside, which was very great on the night. Um, but it was a success. Yeah, the private view was amazing. We had an overwhelming response. Um, this is a photo booth that we had at the party, so it gives you a snapshot of our, our supporters. Um, what's really important to us is that we reach a really diverse crowd. Um, sometimes private views can be the same type of people, so we wanted to reach men as well as women of all ages and from different backgrounds. So after our launch exhibition, um, we were really fortunate to be approached by Nike to host a symposium dinner um, which was amazing for us because it was only a few months after doing our launch and um, it was a great opportunity for us to reach out to some of the people that we found uh, inspirational, um, to use that word, and uh, we had um, Hannah Barry came and did a talk about uh, bold tendencies and we had uh, Emma Gibson and Linda Hewson who head up the creative side of Selfridges mm -hmm. and they came and talked about their journey and we also had amazing food from uh, female chefs mm -hmm. uh, from St John's uh, Bread and Wine. As well as the symposium dinner, Nike gave us the opportunity to do two workshops that were for younger girls from Hackney between the ages of 16 and 19. And this really allowed us to reach out to the younger generation. Um, sometimes in Hackney, the creative community and the local community can be really separate and it can make the younger people feel quite isolated to what we're doing. So we wanted to kind of bring the two together here we've, we had a workshop from Fred Butler and Anita Blay, who's Cock and Ball Kid, and they've worked together in the past, and they talked about how they collaborate, what they do, how they've established their careers, and then there was an exercise for the girls to take part in and, you know, have a go at it themselves. So it just kind of presents what's out there and careers that they might not have thought of in the past. 
So fast forward to this year, and we hosted our second Women's Day uh, exhibition, this time at the KK Outlet. We were very fortunate to be there. And uh, we asked um, a, a creative, um, a bunch of women <laughs> to answer um, the question, what, is your, what are your words of wisdom? And uh, to come up with a creative answer for that. We wanted to extend the question out to more than the 35 original women that um, took part in our first exhibition. So we made the answers on a postcard so we could fit as many people into KK Outlet as possible. So for this one, we had over 85 contributors and it really broadened the kind of reach. And we had some <laughs> fantastic and very funny uh, responses to the brief. Um, here are a few from Jenna, Gemma Shiel and uh, Susie Kemp. Um, as well as the exhibition, we held another symposium dinner with three more fabulous speakers. We had um, Dark Room, which is an amazing store, um, founded by two ladies. We had Kate, uh, Catherine Ferguson, and who's our third one? Quentin. Quentin Jones, a filmmaker. Um, they talked about their success, their highs and lows, and how sometimes, you know, it's not easy. And sometimes when you're looking in from the outside, it can seem a bit intimidating, all these successful, amazing people and what they're doing. But they kind of talked about their struggles in the dark room, you know, how they had to lay their own floor, sand it, paint it themselves. And it just makes it all seem a bit more achievable. And as part of our Words of Wisdom exhibition, we also hosted um, a workshop for school kids, the first time that we'd done that. And it was fantastic. Um, it was through the KK outlet and it was a local school in Hoxton. So bringing the kids in from the local community um, and giving them a chance to experience the stuff that goes on every day in their area. Um, here we've got Anna Lomax <coughs> doing a workshop, um, just showing the kids um, a bit about what she does. Um, and it's also showcasing her as a, as a interesting woman and a positive female role model, which is really important to us. Yeah, here they are in Hoxton Square, their school in the background, St. Monica's. Um, and they did a 3D typographic workshop, which is um, something that Anna Lomax uses often. And we really believe that the creative industries are a powerful way of inspiring the next generation. And hopefully we can continue to grow our network, um, share information and build a better creative community for the future. Thank you. Thanks.